All right, the urge to kill has slightly lessened. Uh, saved after I did my merchant team, and I'm down to three caps. We taught those raiders a lesson. All right, there, buddy. We'll teach them again if they come back. So I guess I'll do it all again. Um, this time I'll come in more aggressively. I learned that last time. So that's something, and also. Uh, not walk through that one part of town. And carry shit with me to sell. Or try to sell it before I leave. Better yet. We'll make something out of the Commonwealth yet. When we got this half done. Hey, you look like someone that needs a drink. Sure. Let's see what you got. Here's what I've got. Still pretty pissed. You should have seen it. We cut those raiders to pieces. And so uh, got some shit to throw into here. Oh right, I got the shit to upgrade my medic. Forgot about that. Upgraded this medic. I'm stupid. Mm. Fire. More medical knowledge. All right. Well, then I got the equipment needed to set up another big one of these somewhere else. All right. So that's. Yeah. All right. I am dumb. I am the dumb. It's so... I'm gonna go pretty much the same way, except I'm going to go around that one bad stretch. pissed off Nick this time. Yeah, when I get to Bunker Hill, I'm just gonna grab the quest and whatnot. I'm not gonna try to steal shit, because that didn't turn out so well for me last time. Stealing a good neighbor worked out fine. Hello, buddy. One of you? No. Two. I don't think we're alone. Wow. Died in the bushes. All right, I cleared this place before one of his raiders. It's waiting to pop up around here somewhere, right? Them 
something that detects. I wonder if there's even enemies in there yet. Perch, that is. You need to find the Quincy Church. Although, considering I can get rounds for this gun now, I'm not in as desperate need of finding all that shit. Alright, this is where you do the railroad mission later. Something out there. Double fuck you. coming for me they got their own fight going on not part of that my better judgment. Anything useful? This is bullshit.
come out sooner or later. Nick. What? I hear something. You hear nothing. Past the bad one. Giddy gumdrops. I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Long, long Come on deal. in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. Stairs. Yeah. The ammo's not yet. Leave that other shit, cause their magic superhuman sight. See fucking three hundred feet in the air. You there. We need to have a conversation. You've got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me. But you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is... Come down to Cat. Been through this. Alright. Get out of my way. Yeah, last time I made it here, I was a little shot up and shit. Excuse me. Dangerous world out there. Good thing, too. Otherwise, no business for doctors, am I right? I need some supplies, doctor. You got the caps? I got the goods. I'm half tempted to join the railroad. Hey, all this shit. you. Talk some sense into my numbskull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. The 
It's always good to help people. I have no problem helping people. Since, though? All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands, no offense, go blind off rot gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save sense? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. <laughs> Trying to save sense sounds noble to me. I'm not alone in this, Dad. Enough. We got customers. Why did Valentine hate me saying saving sense is noble? He should love that. He's a sin. Eyes <clears throat> open. Just don't get so drunk you shoot up the place. Let's see what you got. I can't promise it'll be cold. You like a wet drink. much stuff I can do with that. Bring back my junk. Alright, got enough to hire a Mac. Antiques, huh? <laughs> Booze and grub, right here. Do you have any work? Well, there is one thing. Dad, you're not gonna send him on that same <laughs> wild goose chase. Hey, he brought it up, not me. As I was saying, before us of all these started slinging rot gut for thirsty caravan hands, we came from a line of Minutemen. My grandpa, Brent Savaldi, was the last. He died fighting raiders just outside Malden. If you could find any of his personal effects, well, he didn't mean the world to me. If the price is right, I might help. Malden ain't the safest of places. I suppose I could spare 200 caps. It's okay. I'll find your grandpa. Just be careful, all right? I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. But uh, you. Excuse me. Need a place to stay? Grab it before someone else does. Hi. Kill Tower Town. What have you got to trade today? Right into it, huh? Hi, how are you? And I can't afford your contracts and McCready. in that trash can go over to the house now I didn't want to do it before because Nick left me no way. rude 
Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Fast motherfucker to get here before me. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. Lead on. Jack, the new gal is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to... You'll be right with her. <coughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? This place is more a museum than a home. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? I'm not sure there's any intelligent life in the universe. At least, not on this planet. Uh, you joke, but make a good point. Say humans perish from the Earth, as they seem intent upon doing. Say thousands of years from now, a new civilization arose. What would they know of us? Even after thousands of years, there would be plenty left of our civilization. There would be something left, but perhaps less than you think. The ancients built mighty works that they must have thought would stand the test of time. Yet we know next to nothing about them. In fact, most people don't know they even existed. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending her to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Con I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility in the North City. There's an yes. important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Only about a million. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I'm out of here. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. No guarantees. You get Wait. caught pilfering around here, you don't get thrown in the pen. You get thrown in a grave. going ah, out the door good not good I want in here
I got the big loot item. Better not depress my luck. Like painting a huge sign on their front door. Rob me. Die there. My buddy bot. I'm not gonna shut you down yet. I might need him to run back to. We have a uh, hollow one in the mix here, don't they? Oh, but. He ain't it. Fuck him. Hi, buddy. Lights out for you. Where'd you get to? <sighs> Look who's back. Oh, fuck you. Bitch. Right, because it took out your big buddy. Nice and quick. You can trust me. Got you one pump chump. Some dealer did he heal himself when I killed the other one. I thought I killed the chem dealer. Look it. There's another one. Don't hurt yourselves. Hi, buddy. Water. Stay hydrated when you're killing raiders. Hey, toss anything you can't haul. Show your face. Come on. Why 
I know you're here. Goodbye. No, I'm here too. Seven caps. Somewhere in the world. Where the hell this guy's at? Right about there, I suppose. Lucky. Mm -hmm. Good, now I got a spot I can uh, fall back to when I fight the gunners that are up ahead. Instead of being pincered by every faction because I ran in like an idiot. Sounds like there's someone up there. Go exploring all the way up though. Wanna loot the corpse that I earned. Onward to good neighbor. After I loot more.
long way to get that coolant pumping. They step in the landmines. I don't see mines or gunners. Not that I'm complaining. It's raiders this time instead. had a much safer trip this time at least I think I used more ammo but obviously got way more kills and took way less damage didn't have to use up all my med kits and shit uh, after I do my thing and get McCready I might uh save my game here Before I go into that place and kill all them triggermen. Although considering where I'm at with ammo, I might not even do that. I might leave. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, all right. We'll just say you're... Uh -huh. Why did Valentine dislike me telling this guy to back off instead of shooting him? Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. Sub Deacon. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. Random guy. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. You're hot. Excuse me, now, why'd you a new player in Big Mac. Huh? Making it hard over here. Welcome now to I know you had old days. Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? Hey. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. Sounds like anarchy. The best kind of anarchy. Embrace it, and maybe one day you'll call this little slice of chaos home. So long as you remember. I'm in charge. I'm concerned. Pick up Mac. Send the clockwork dick back home. He won't like the stuff I do next. Or ever. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. Hey, that is go ahead. If I'm switching out companions, I might as well have them send all this shit back home. Work for us. Air up some space and whatnot. Not anymore. Why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, lady. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. 
From what I just heard, sounds like you're out of business. Are you kidding me? I'm not about to let a couple of gunner rejects stand between me and a solid payday. Extra baggage like that can get you killed. Look, I need the money, and I'm not about to let Winlock and Barnes scare a client away. You have nothing to worry about. Those two are weaker than a housefly, and about half as smart. And what about you? How do I know? All I can give you is my word, and a bunch of caps. A bunch of caps, huh? Okay, hotshot. Price is 250 caps, up front. There's no room for bargaining. There is. Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. But you just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. Later, Nick. What's the point of picking up that junk? Sell or craft? Song. Boy, you would. I've got a few minutes to browse. It's the drowning solos. Sounds like it's up my alley. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying only catch. Right. The job's 200. Three locations? That's a lot of time. Well, I guess we could sweeten the pot a bit. Uh huh. Too low. Barely covers the risks. Listen here, you. I. I don't do work unless I know who's paying the bills. All right, Gov. Not like it's a big mayor and. Look, it's nothing. Three locations? Listen here, you. I ain't playing ring around them. I'll get it done. <laughs> you better. That's right, good neighbor. I'm the one you're looking for. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Hmm? Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I've never heard that song before. Who wrote it? I did. Everything I sing is an original. Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. You're a survivor. So what brings it? Huh. I came here for a strong whiskey. <laughs> so, mm. so it's mm. my turn to answer. I was wondering if we could... Oh, really? Go on. You, me, an evening walk on... And then what? Music. And you fail a speech check. <laughs> Yeah? I stay free, sister. You're blocking my light, doll. <laughs> Excuse me. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Uh, exploration pays off. Kind of. If I ever use the cry it later. Uh, 
Well, I'm almost caught up to where I was. In a way, I suppose I'm ahead of where I was. Hey everyone, gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Shoot the fat. Now I know you hey, everyone, get out of your shops. Let me rob you. Son of a bitch. Figured things were going too well. I think McCready just got sent the ten pines. Popped up when I was uh, trying to do something. Where do I go from here? This is uh, changing all my plans. Sucks because those two quests are ones I can easily do. Three quests. I'll now pick up the one and do the two. At least I got the fat man. for the dangerous trek back home. I think I'll go this way. This way sounds good. Oh. Friendlies are detecting me. Good. Well area I can sprint through. Okay. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't even shoot! Okay, so, uh, Fallout 4 is fucking being stopped for a while. I'm definitely fucking done now. Another fucking hour down the drain. Fuck. <laughs> 